So I've got some exciting news. Microsoft is introducing a handful of new functions inside of Microsoft Excel that work with text. Now to set these up, a common question that I get inside of my Microsoft Excel course is how can I take a single column of values, something like I have right here, I got full names, first and last name. How can I take a column like that and split it into multiple columns? Place first name in one column, place second or last name inside of the second column. Well, prior to these new functions that Microsoft is introducing, there was a handful of methods that I would suggest. You had things like the text to column feature, pretty slick. You had some pretty complex formulas utilizing the left, right, and mid function, and perhaps a nested find or search function to help you split up those values. Well, now with these new functions that Microsoft is soon introducing, they've made it a breeze, a simple, simple process. So let's jump in and see how you can take advantage of these new text-based functions. So the first one that I'm gonna introduce you to is called the text split function. Here's the scenario. So open in front of you, I've got an example file and I'll place a link to this file in the description below this video. You can download it and once you have these functions inside of Excel, once Microsoft has released them, you can take advantage of it and you can practice these functions on your own. Right now, these functions are available in the beta release of Excel. So I'm gonna show you a demonstration right here to get you prepared to use these functions. So the workbook is called new text functions hyphen zero one. And in this first list, simple list, I've got full name. Now I wanna split the two values, first name in one column, second name in the second. Now, prior to this new text split function, I would do something like this. Here's the B column where I'm gonna demonstrate a left search combination or nested function. So I'll say equals, and I wanna get the first name off these values, but the tricky thing, I'm gonna use the left function. The left function needs to know how many characters we want. Well, every first name here is different in length. Skyler is six characters. Logan is five characters, journey is, and so on, right? So if I come in here and I say left, here's the text that I wanna grab. Well, how many characters do you want? Well, I don't know. So I'm gonna use a search function to find the space, this common delimiter between these two values. Everyone in here has a space between first and last name. So that's what I wanna find, and I wanna find it within this text. And I'm gonna subtract one from that because it'll return the position of the space, but I don't wanna include the space. I just want the first name, so minus one. I hit my enter key and there's the first name and I can use the autofill to populate the rest. Now, that's it's not that involved. It's a little formula utilizing the left function and a nested search, okay? But that nested search was an additional step I had to take. Well, watch this. And right now I've got his first name, right? I didn't even do last name yet. Watch this, I'm gonna delete that column. If I jump into now B2 right below the first column, I'm gonna type in equals text split. Now the split function, it has a few different arguments for us to utilize here. The first thing it wants to know is the text. And I'm just gonna make reference to A2 to Skylar here. There we go, comma. The next thing it wants to know is, how do you want to separate these values? What, what's the common delimiter that's going to separate these values? And specifically, I wanna split them into columns. I wanna get first name in one column and last name in the next. You'll notice that the next argument there is the row delimiter. So if I wanted to split these values across rows, well here, it's gonna be a column and the delimiter is a space. So just inside of quotes, I'll put that space. I'm now gonna close this function, hit my enter key, and I've now split those values into two columns, all based on that space. So now I can grab those and I can drag it down, and I've got all of the names there. Very cool, the text split function. Just where's your text and what's your delimiter? In our case, a simple space. Now let's take this a step further. If I hop over to the middle initial, we can do the same thing here. Now these names, they have first, middle initial, and last name. So now we got three values in there. 
Now, if I went back to utilizing something like left, right, and mid and search, this can, is gonna get pretty complex. Here's an example. This one here pulls out the middle initial, but this is what the formula looks like. Look at that thing. It's huge. There's a lot going on in there. I've got the mid function because I want to grab something from the middle of the value. But in order for me to find that, I've got to look for the, the space inside of there. I've then got to search and do a little bit of subtraction in there. There's so much. This is, this is kind of overkill compared to what we're about to see right here. Take a look. So I'm going to delete that column out of there. If I jump into B2 now, and I'm just going to bring in text split, just like before, and it wants to know the text. There's the value. Now, what's the column delimiter? It's a space. I'm going to close that, hit my enter key. Nice, simple function here. And it does it all for me. First name, middle initial, last name. And if I can drag that down, let's get that little box. There's all the values right there. So gone is the kind of over cumbersome left, right, mid search functions. And now utilizing this text split to do simple little splits like this right here. Now, this is just one of the handful of text based functions that Microsoft has introduced. And this is a pretty slick one. But let's take a look at another one here. So I'm going to hop over to the serial numbers. And with this one, we've got a column here. We've got full description. And inside of this column, we've got the serial number. And then we've got a description of the item. So now I want to split these two values, the serial number and the description, into two different columns. And you can see that these values are pretty big, right? They, they've got the serial number that's got eight or nine or 10 characters in there. And then a description, I don't know, we've, we've, that thing ranges 20, 30, 40 characters in length. So I want to split these. Well, the old method, I would use something like left in the search function to be able to pull out the serial number. Take a look at the formula here. So at this one, I'm going to look into A2, the value of this cell, and I'm going to search for the colon character there. And then I'll subtract one off of that when I find it kind of similar to doing the first name, right? And I grab the serial. Well, what about the description? How would I do that? That one's going to get even more complex. But now let's take a look at the text before function. I want to grab all the values or the text before a specific character. I'm going to get rid of this one here. If I jump into cell B2, I'm going to say equals text before because I want to get all of this text right here, all that text before the colon character. Oh, Ooh, look at this. That one's got a hyphen in front of it. Mm. All right, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. So text before, first thing it wants to know is where's the text? So I'm going to grab cell A2, comma. The next thing it wants to know is the delimiter. So what, what character are you searching for that you want to get all the text before that character? So in this case, I'll bring in inside of quotes. I'm going to bring in a colon. I'll close that function, whoop, and I've now got my serial number. And I'll drag that down to populate the rest of them. Doesn't matter to the length, it's just looking for that colon character and grabbing all the text before that character, before that delimiter. Now, if I look into here, remember this one, uh-oh, this doesn't have a colon character in it, this has got a hyphen in there. So how do I do that? Well, if I get back to my first formula here, the delimiter, the colon in there, we can treat this like an array or a collection of different delimiters. Right now, we're only searching for one, the colon character. Well, what if somebody typed it in with a hyphen or somebody typed it in with a comma or a semicolon or an equal sign, right? And that's kind of all over this data set right here. Well, how can I create one formula that searches for all these variations that may occur? Well, I'll take a look. Inside of the formula, I'm gonna modify this just a little bit. To create an array or a collection of different delimiters, I'm gonna start 
with an open curly brace. I'm going to get my first one in there inside of quotes. So quote, colon, quote. Then I'm going to do comma. And then inside of quotes again, I'm going to bring in the hyphen. Close that quote. And then I'm going to close the curly braces there. So now I've got two potential delimiters that Excel or the text before function will search for. So I'll hit my enter key. All right, first one looks good. I'll copy that down. We want to watch this one right here. And if I keep dragging, it's done it all for me. So now the text before function says, okay, I'm going to look for one of these two characters, a colon or a hyphen, and I'm going to give you all the text before that character. Now, what about description? Well, we just use a text before. What do you think? We've now got a text after function. Let's take a look. So here I'll just say text after. Same process. I've got this cell, this value, comma, or that text. And now I want to be able to grab everything after a specific character. Now, once again, we've got a colon and a hyphen. So in this case, I'm going to bring in the array. And I'll say we want to look for a colon, comma, or a hyphen. I'll close that curly brace, close the function. And now it's going to pull out all of the descriptions. Now, there's actually one more little thing that we need to tweak here. If we look really closely after that colon or after that hyphen, we've actually got a space inside there. So if I go back to my formula, you can actually see the space inside of there. It's, it's a little bit to the right. Here, I'll just say I want to search for colon space or hyphen space. And then you can see how that A jumped over. We got rid of that space. Let's bring that down. So cool, so simple. A couple of really neat functions. Again, Microsoft is introducing these. They're currently in the beta release of Microsoft Excel, but should be available to the general public soon, to just a general user of Microsoft Excel. So we've got the text split function and a text before and a text after as just a few of the new functions come into Microsoft Excel soon. So I appreciate you coming in and watching this video. Hopefully you learned something new. If you learned something new, please, please, please give the video a like, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video.